Okay, so this is the Polar M200 heart rate monitor. It has a lot of bells and whistles. For right now, we're just gonna go over the basic functionality of it to get started, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna show you is how to take it out so you can charge it. The whole sensor pops out of the wristband, which is really nice for charging and also for cleaning the wristband. So what you'll do is you'll turn it over and you're gonna go from the top and just pop it out just like this. And then you can clean the wristband and then you can plug this in. Now it comes with a cord for charging. It only plugs in one way. That way doesn't work. And then you flip it over and you slide it in like that. And then the other end is a USB and you can plug that into a charging block. Again, the right way. And then you can plug it right into the wall and you can charge it overnight. Okay. It pops back into the band exactly like it came out. You want to go from the top and you're just going to slip it in. This little charging part just kind of rests on the rubber of the band on the bottom. It doesn't slip into anything. It just kind of sits there. Okay. So then putting it on, it has a lot of these little knobs here that you can plug into. So I'm going to put it on and just tighten it and it goes on like any watch would. You want to pull it so that it's tight enough that the sensor, which I'm sorry, I didn't show you that. There's a sensor on the back and this is what should go against the skin on the wrist so that it can be monitoring your heart rate. So you want it to go right above the bones of your wrist. And again, I'm gonna tighten it up. And it's nice that it has all these different options for adjusting. Okay, and then it's gonna go through here. Sorry, I'm putting it on. It is pretty rubbery and flexible, so it takes a little trial and error to get it on all the way. Okay, now the nice thing is it only has two buttons. It has one on the left and one on the right. The one on the right is the menu button and the one on the left is the back button. So if you wanna go back, you're gonna push the left button. To do the menu, you're gonna do short pushes. So right now it's just on time. I'm gonna push it once. It's gonna say training, activity, history, we're not gonna worry about these things for right now. Now the fourth one is my heart rate. Once you get to where you want, you're gonna push and hold that right button again. So I'm gonna push and hold it, and you can see that it's working on sensing my heart rate. There we go. So my heart rate's 94 beats a minute right now, okay? And it might take a few seconds to get to its baseline. So you just kind of watch it. And once it stabilizes, it's going to bounce around a couple of numbers up and down, but you're going to get a general idea of what the baseline is. Okay, so it's kind of going down to 87, up to 90. So it's going to be in that range somewhere. Once you're done with that, if you want to go back, you're going to push your left button. Push it once, it gets back to my heart rate. Push it again, you get it back to time. Okay, so that kind of gets you started. Thank you.